say the original price of an item is like $70, right? And the discount is 30%. So they say, for example, they're having a sale, it's 30% off, and you wanna find out, well, what's the new price? What's that sale price, right? Well, there's two different ways to do this. One way to do this is you can say, well, let me figure out what I'm gonna save. So I'm gonna take the $70, and I'm gonna multiply by 30%, but I'm gonna convert this into a decimal by moving that decimal point two places to the left. So that's gonna be 0 0.30. And if we multiply those together, we can use a calculator, or you can do this by hand. You're, we're just gonna multiply those together, 70 times 0 0.30, that comes out to 21. So what that means is that you're saving $21, right? But that means you're going to have to take away the $21 from 70. So 70 minus 21 equals how much? $49, right? So that's going to be your new price. Now that's one method. I'm going to show you a quicker method now. And this quicker method is instead of focusing on what you're saving, focus on what you're paying. So what percentage would you be paying if it's 30% discounted or 30% off? Well, you'd be paying 70%, right? So what you can do is you can jump right to $70, and we're gonna multiply that by 70%, which 70% as a decimal is 0 0.70. I just moved the decimal two places to the left. So now all we have to do is multiply 70 times 0 0.70, and we're getting $49, which is the exact same thing that we got in method one above. The only difference here is a little bit quicker. We did it in one step, because we focused on what we're paying, and we figured out what that percentage uh, was by taking 100% minus 30%. Okay, let's look at another example. See if you can do this one on your own. If you want, you can uh, pause the video and uh, go ahead and then check it back with me here. So let's see, so number two, we've got uh, the original price of an item is $400. The discount is 40%, so it's like 40% off. And now we wanna find out what the new price is. So you can use either method. I'll do both methods for this one, but let's see the next one, I'll just pick one of the methods. So here the discount's 40%. So let's see what we're gonna save. So we're gonna take $400, we're gonna multiply by 40%, which is 0 0.40 as a decimal. Okay, so move that decimal two places to the left. And if we do that, you can do that by hand or you can do it on a calculator. We're getting $160, right? So that means that you're gonna be saving $160. So we have to take the 400 minus 160 which means that you're gonna pay the new price of $240. Now, method number two, let's just say instead of taking 40% off, let's just say that we're gonna focus on what you're gonna pay, which is 60%, right? So we're just gonna take the $400, we're gonna multiply by 60%, which is 0 0.60, and if you do that on a calculator, you're gonna get 240, or you can do it by hand. Okay, so that's uh, number two. So let's jump into number three. I'm just gonna pick one of the methods uh, for this one. So. Here, we're, it's a little bit more challenging. We don't know what the original price is. We, knew what, we know what the new price is, and we know what the discount is. So how do we solve a problem like this? Well, there's a couple different ways to do it. I'm gonna write an equation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, hmm, that original price, let's call that X, since we don't know what it is. Now, it's being discounted by 25%, but that means you're actually gonna pay 75%, right? 75% is really 0.75 as a decimal, and the answer to that is gonna be the new price, $180. So just to go over that real quick again, the starting price, which we don't know, X, times the amount that you're gonna pay equals the new price. So now all we have to do to solve for X is to divide both sides by 0.75. See how these are multiplied together? We're doing the inverse, which is to multiply both sides. And let's just go to the calculator, let's see what that is. 180 divided by 0.75, okay, we're getting $240. And you got it. Now, if you want to check your work, you, of course, can. You just have to take $240 times 0.25, okay? And that's going to be how much that you're saving. Subtract that from the 240, and you're going to get 180. Okay, let's do another example. So number four, we've got the original price is $620. But now we don't know what the discount is. We don't know that percent discount. And we know the new price is $434. So what do you think for this one? How can we approach this one? Well, let's go ahead and write an equation. So we're gonna start off with the $620, and we're gonna multiply by, let's just say, X percent, okay? And that's gonna give us the new price, $434. Now this X percent, the way I've set this up, this is gonna be the percentage that you pay, right? So you're paying that percent of the original price, and that's your new price. So keep that in mind. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna divide both sides by 620, Okay, and now we're left with X, okay, and let's see what that comes out to. So we've got 434 divided by 620, 
it's coming out to 0 0.70. 0 0.70 as a percentage, we have to move that decimal two places to the right, that's 70%. Now that means you're paying 70%, but what's the discount? 30%, right? So that's gonna be our discount. Okay, now we've got one additional problem. If you want, I call this bonus number one, go ahead and see if you can do this on your own. Put the answer in the comments section below if you want. Compare with uh, other viewers to see if you're on the right track. And uh, this is a good one for you. So the original price, we don't know. The discount percentage is 4%, so 4% off. And the new price is $80.64. So go ahead and try that one on your own. I'm gonna wipe the whiteboard down real quick and we're gonna do the percent markup problems next. Okay, now we're gonna talk about percent markup. So let's go through some examples together. I'll show you the two different methods for solving these types of problems. So let's say your original amount is $28 and then the markup is 80% and you wanna find out what the new price is gonna be. So say for example, a store, you know, they're getting in merchandise, they're marking it up, selling it to the customer for additional amount so that they can make a profit, right? So there's two different ways to do this. The first way is you would take the $28, okay, that you're starting with and you would multiply by 80% as a decimal, which is 0 0.80. You wanna move that decimal point two places to the left. And let's see what that comes out to. So we're gonna find out the additional amount that they're gonna charge the customer. So that's 28 times 0 0.80, which comes out to $22.40. Now the thing is, the $22.40, this is the additional amount. We have to add that to the original amount. So I'm gonna add the $28. And so now you can see we're getting how much? This is $50.40. Okay, now there's another way to do this problem. The other way to do it is if they're marking it up by 80%, the customer is actually paying 180%. 100% is the original amount plus an additional 80%. So when you think of 180%, that's actually 1.80. I just moved that decimal point two places to the left. Now all we have to do is take the original amount, the $28 times the 180%, and let's verify that we get the same answer. So you can do this on your calculator with me if you want, times 1.80. Again, we get $50.40. Okay, let's go to the next example. So each one of these problems is a little bit different than the, the previous one. So number two, we've got the original amount's 80, the new amount is 140, but we're wondering what is that markup percentage? Okay, so what we can do, again, two different methods. One method is you can see that this is actually increasing in price by $60, so we'd say, $80, the original amount, times the percent, okay, markup, equals the additional amount that they're charging the customer, which is an additional $60. So if we go to the calculator here, I'm gonna divide both sides by 80 to get the variable by itself. So 60 divided by 80, you can see we're getting 0.75. So again, divided both sides by 80, we're getting 0.75. But you see how this is a percentage? We wanna move that decimal point two places to the right to convert it back into a percentage. So this is actually a 75% markup. Now the other way to do this problem, and this is the way that I actually like to do it, is I take the $80 and I say 80 times what? So I'll just say X equals the new amount, $140. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna divide both sides by 80 to get X by itself. So we've got 140 divided by 80. You can see we're getting 1.75. So X equals 1.75, but if I move this decimal point two places to the right, we're getting 175%, but 100% means the original amount plus an additional 75%, so you can see that's our actual markup percentage, 75%. So let's go to uh, example number three now. Now this one's a little bit different than the first two. Here we're trying to find the original amount. We know the markup percentage is 30%. And we knew, know the new amount, which is 104. Okay, so how would you solve that one? Well, I'm gonna use method number two over here, and I'm gonna do this uh, like this. I'm gonna say X is the original amount times not 30%, but 130%, because I wanna figure out uh, the markup plus the original to get the new amount, which equals 104. So now if we divide both sides by 130%, or 1.30, we're gonna get that original amount. So let's go ahead and do that, 104, divided by 1.30, we're getting 80, and that's 